Hello friends, in this video we will try to find the solution of a problem which says a car goes on a horizontal circular road of radius r, the speed increasing at a constant rate dv by dt is equal to a, the friction coefficient between the road and the tire is mu, find the speed at which the car will skid. So to understand this scenario, let's say this is a circular path and there is a car moving and accelerating with an acceleration a which is a tangential acceleration so the another acceleration which will act in the radially inward direction so the net acceleration will be somewhere here so that means the friction which is required for this movement is nothing but in this direction which is equal to m times a net and this required friction will should be provided by the frictional force between the tire and the road so first of all let's calculate the a net value a net is nothing but a tangential square plus a radial square and we know that a radial is v square by r and given that a tangential is a now putting the value here a net will become under root a square plus v power 4 upon r square now the required friction to move this car along the circular path is m times a net should be less than equal to mu times n right so in this case n is nothing but m into g so putting the that value this will become m times a net value is under root a square plus v power 4 upon r square less than equal to mu times m into g the m will cancel out and squaring both side we will get a square plus v power 4 upon r square less than equal to mu square g square so we'll get the velocity value here velocity should be less than equal to r square mu square g square minus a square r square so this is power 4 so that means velocity should be equal to r square is common mu square g square minus a square power 1 by 4. So this is the maximum velocity that we can give to this car to safely move along the circular path. So this is the solution of this problem.